us again. So what we have to show you guys for the next couple of videos is an overland experience that we put together with our friends at Off-Road Toys out in Atlanta. They're an awesome shop, so if you're looking for work done in the local um, Atlanta, Georgia area, check them out, they'll take care of you. We're gonna be hitting up three different trails. Right now we're in Teleco Plains. We're gonna be camping out here at Sour Creek uh, Campground. I could be wrong, but definitely had Sour in the name. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Like always, thank you so much for watching. A big thumbs up if you're enjoying the video and uh, we'll show you what we got. This video is brought to you by Clear Lids and Stinger Off-Road and partly by Rhino USA. So we made it to camp guys. We have about 20 rigs out here with us and this is, it's currently Thursday and we're gonna be out here tonight. We're leaving tomorrow and we're heading to Nemo's Tunnel, which is still in Tennessee. It's a really cool picture spot, but we're also gonna be doing local trails out there. So we made camp, we had a quick lunch, and we are heading out to the first trail. I'm gonna get the name for you guys because all these trails out here in Teleco Plains have very uh, different names, we'll go with that. So I don't think I can pronounce them, spell them, or anything like that. So yeah, here we go. And I know that we get a lot of DMs and IMs and PMs, whatever abbreviation of direct message that's basically asking us what's going on with our hardtop. So as you guys know, in our JL, we do have a hardtop. We actually don't own any um, Jeep with a soft top, but we did just recently modify the freedom panel area of it. And so what you guys are seeing up here is actually a complete panel made by clear lids. So I'm going to be linking them in the description, but guys, if you haven't already seen our Instagram posts about it, it's a panoramic. Let me try to squish myself here. It's a panoramic um, replacement for your freedom panels and it is tinted so for those asking you do not feel the heat or at least we have not yet we've had it installed for about two weeks um you can see everything i mean you guys see the clarity of it it is like i said a bit darker than normal stars yeah so at night i want to get a good the shot rain. and show you guys the stars when it's raining it's beautiful when you're in the forest i mean it's perfect you can still remove it uh it's not a permanent uh, mod and it does come with a little bag that you can store it in so if you want to pop your freedom panels on it just gives you options guys and you guys know as Jeep owners you a lot of room too. that is what we definitely want is options Update. We currently are, we just came into the trail called Mad Dog here in the, I would assume it's the Cherokee National Forest, but don't quote me on that. Uh, it is approximately 5.30. We have no service and we're not just with Jeeps. We have a Toyota FJ. We have, what else is here? Gladiator. Gladiator. And a uh, Chevy. Silverado. Yep. So, oh, and a Volkswagen. Taurig. Taurig? Yeah. So, it's going to be really fun to see. Supposedly, this is like the hardest trail out here, but we'll see how these um, different vehicles handle it. So what you guys are about to see is called the Devil's Bowl. So I think it's one of the very few obstacles here on Mad Dog Trail in Teleco Plains. And it's basically just a, it's not even that steep, but it looks fun. Um, we're gonna try it in two wheel drive, but I'm interested to see on how everyone else wants to tackle this obstacle.
we're at the Cherahala Visitor, Cherahala Skyway Visitor Center, and they have a black bear display. They got this little guy dressed up. This is really cool. So you can just like come in, read up about the bears native to the area. And just kind of, they teach you how to be safe when you're out there camping. We did not see any bears this time around, but I, our friends here with us have. So that's a wrap for Teleco Plains. That's day one of our overlanding adventure. At night, we weren't able to capture the footage, but we got swarmed or the Jeep got swarmed by these, what looks to be Japanese murder hornets. They were about three and a half, four inches long, and they were super attracted to the very uh, bright LED lights that we had going out around camp. So we shut those off, call it an early night, because I think that if I got stung, I would probably die. Um, hopefully no one was injured, and we packed it in, packed it out, and uh, hopefully you guys love the video. Like always, big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and make sure that you check out day two's video that we will be posting shortly.